Hello, Robert Jones here with Image Perfection. Two years ago I put a video up here on my channel about the blue flash flickering brightness situation happening with the Pioneer Elite 510, 610, 710 series of high definition CRT TVs. How have we done? I instructed that you that if you needed to fix these, it had to be not a point source type of fix, but a universal type of fix. In other words, not just resoldering parts of it that are bad now, but actually future proofing it and doing parts that will go bad later. How have we done? We have saved literally tons of these sets. I personally have saved dozens and dozens and dozens of them, and I'm sure that out there with other people working on it, we've probably saved hundreds. That's a lot when each set is pretty big. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that. Uh, what I want to let you know is, let's keep it up. There are lots more out there. They're still working. A lot of people are going to the new flat panel sets, so they're letting their big CRT types go. You can get them for pennies on the dollar these days. So the, that in combination with having me on the case, you save a ton of money. So let's keep these sets going. If you want to know more about this, uh, oh, by the way, when I do a set, I give a lifetime warranty on the work. When I take that power supply board, it gets sent to me, and I resolder it, I give you a lifetime warranty. I think I'm the only person in the world doing this. But when I fix your, your power supply board, it will stay fixed. Uh, if you want to know more, more about this problem, there's a thread on AVS forum called Pioneer Elite 510 Problem. This thread was not started by me, but I jumped in when I saw what was being said on the thread, which some people write in and say, yeah, you fix it by doing this, that fixed my set. And then another guy writes in and says, yeah, well, it was this, actually. It, I fixed, I, I resorted this and it fixed my set. And then uh, a third and a fourth people, I finally realized you can't just do what's bad now. The whole board has to be resoldered. That's called future-proofing. And let me tell you, locals usually don't do that. So. If you want me to do that, contact me. I will fix your set, test your board, get a board back to you, and warranty it for life. If you want to know more about this, go to that thread. If you want to know what your TV can actually look like, if you really want to get it fully tricked out, go to page 45 of that thread. I took some screenshots of sets that I had personally worked on and fully developed in other parts of the country. Page 45, AVS Forum. Pioneer Elite 510 problem. Also, if you want to see my CV in action, I have a 73-inch Mitsubishi CRT, triple gun, very big set, very nice. And I started a thread called Don't Dump Your CRT RPTV about six years ago on AVS Forum because I went to CES and there were no CRTs being promoted at all. I was seeing that it was hitting the end of its run. So I started this thread, immediately people jumped on, thronged it. In the last seven years, it is now almost 400 pages. People love their CRTs. So you've got a good set, costs you a lot of money. Don't go out and buy something now. The new stuff, you're lucky that if it lasts three or four years, then you've got to buy a new one. Never so, another several thousand out the door. Bolts. Every couple of years, you've got to replace a bulb on a DLP and, and other projection type modalities. Not on CRT. They just keep going and going and going. If you want to see what my TV looks like, go to page 259 of that thread. Don't dump your CRT or PTV. you get an iPhone. So in another video, I'll tell you exactly what needs to happen to, to make sure your set doesn't break on its way to being fixed and what it takes to fix it. But for now, if you've got a, a rear projection CRT big screen triple gun TV, please keep it. It's worth keeping. These are 20-year sets. We're only halfway through that. Thanks for listening.